Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for singles. Okay, this is a singles reading. And this is for February. We're just going to see what comes up for singles. Okay? You're single. And you're admitting it, that you're single. You know, you're not lying about it. Um... So what do we got? What do we have? Well, I mean, if you're lying about it, I suppose. Well, I guess those are the cards. I mean, you're still single. People lie all the time, right? They pretend they're not, but, you know, whatever. Who knows? It's all about society, right? It's about what you want people to think. Anyhow, what do we got for Leo? What do we have for Leo for February 2020? Ooh. Now, this is becoming clear of your choice. So, you be, may be needing to make a choice, and this is be, receiving the clarity that you need. You know, becoming clear what choice you need to make. This is receiving clarity. Coming out of illusion, coming out of fantasy land. Um, this is seeing the truth, seeing reality. It's like, you know what you... what is the best choice for you, okay? This is making the best choice, seeing it. It's like you see past the illusion now, okay? There's no more illusion. There's no more confusion. I see it. So this is clarity. Time of introspection, time of reflection, okay? The hermit is it's time to withdraw from others. It's time to reflect. It's time to be alone. Maybe you need to completely go within and plan your next move. Maybe you need some alone time, okay? And that means alone time, like alone, you get it, alone, I understand some of you have children, but that doesn't mean that you need to engage a partner at this time, okay? This is alone time is needed, and maybe you're going to see that clearly. Now, you receive clarity through alone time. I mean, the hermit stays in a period of isolation, and if you were to look up the word isolation, isolation means Isolation, it means being alone for a period of time. That means you do not engage other people during this time. Can you do it, Leo? Can you? Can you listen to yourself? Can you go within and take care of you for a little while? This is realizing your true identity through introspection without the opinions of other people. Without your friend's advice. And this is for a period of time other than one day. This is an extended period of time. Six of Wands reversed. Now this is a lack of su success. A lack of making progress. A lack of victory. Somebody hasn't been putting in the effort. So this is a, this is a, this is, um, oh, I was going to say a failure. And I'm not saying that you're a failure. Something didn't work out. Something didn't work out because you need to take time to think about things. You need time to make, to bring success. You've got to plan. This is a, somebody who needs to go within to plan and not jump, not leap. Okay, this person is very wise and this person did not gain their in, their wisdom from being impulsive by listening to the crowd. So this is lack of, of recognition as well. This is, and this is also lack of respect. So, but this is somebody who doesn't follow through or doesn't win. Okay, this person doesn't win because they did not plan effectively. They didn't take time to plan. Justice. Justice is about karma, okay? It's about acting with integrity. There could be some legal issues that you are dealing with, but this is the, the laws of karma maybe playing out. There could be a, a court ruling or something that changes your circumstances. This is the court or the law getting involved. But this, whatever is happening, is happening to bring balance back to your life, to bring balance and harmony, you know, to get your life back on track, whatever is happening. But I do feel like you need to go within. You definitely need to go within to bring balance back to your life. To restore balance. You know, if there's been some sort of uh, 
decision that has been made by somebody in the courts or somebody in the uh, justice system. Everything turned out as it was supposed to. It did. And also, when you get the justice card, you got to remember that universal law and... Um, universal law in what do you call this the worldly law the earthly law really has no toleration for lies it's all about being honest be honest and upfront honesty wins integrity wins I think that you guys are going to be going through a spiritual awakening. Okay? I do. This is a higher consciousness and this is a this is a very spiritual energy and putting in effort into developing yourself. I think that you guys are going to be going through, you know, a new conscious awareness in February. You're, this is a period of enlightenment for you. And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard work because you're going to be going through some sort of changes. And it's it's coming from deep down. It's like you're going to be, your, your whole self is changing. Okay. And this is, the high priestess is very independent. And this is very independent. I see it's all about you working on you, working on healing you, working on realizing your identity, working on being who you are meant to be. It's about you right now. It's not about engaging yourself in a, another relationship right now. It's really not. This is, and you know, when you get the high priestess here, it's about um, higher, con we got higher consciousness here. It's about reflecting, reflecting and being receptive, being receptive to gaining higher knowledge through experience. I think that you guys are going through an experience or you are have been through an, a very trying, troublesome experience that has happened to you to bring you higher knowledge. To give you the wisdom that is going to bring you through life. Now we have a very self-sufficient -suff individual here. And I think you're going to be working on yourself. Okay? Two of Coins. Now the Two of Coins is about, there's a geometric power higher than yourself that is changing your situation. Okay? Just ignore the dog, please. And it's funny, the do ignore it. Ignore, ignore everything. Ignore everything that doesn't serve you. Okay? People, people that are, are barking down your neck, people that are chasing after you, people that are bugging you, ignore them. Ignore them. This is a need to adapt to changing circumstances. You're going to be adapting to changes. Okay? You're going to be needing to take control of your life, being the boss of your life. This is about uh, protecting, protecting yourself. Um... Ten of Coins, there's going to be a change in your legacy or a change in your establishment, a change in your home. You may you may sense it coming, okay? We're talking about singles, though. I feel if you are the single male, this is you being in control, you being the boss. Some of you will be working, 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 you know, working on your business, working on your job, be focusing more on your job, focusing more on your work. I don't see anybody in this circumstance where it's a male or a female focusing on a relationship. I see you focusing on building your abundance, building yourself. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of growth. It's a time of awakening. Okay, I do see a change in in uh, the home front, though. With this Ten of Coins reversed, this is a loss. Okay, it's a loss of a home or somebody moving out of the home. 
or somebody moving into the home there's a change in the home there's an exchange of keys by the looks of things you know it's like something like that we do have a change there's some sort of I mean you can notice you can you can hear the dog and I'm not pushing pause because everything happens for a reason there's there's an you may feel a defensive you may feel like you gotta defend yourself you may feel like you're under attack I really feel like that is the case I feel like that this, this everything during a reading happens for the for the querent or happens for the group the dog freaking out has to do with in, maybe there's an intruder or there's somebody that is really uh, uh, making you fearful you know um, somebody arrives that you and it could be somebody comes that you don't like you know what I mean something is happening that is is going to put you on guard um, now this 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 could be a judge this could be somebody in the law this has the, this is the orders somebody may be coming forward with some sort of order some sort of I don't know what it is. I was just going to say a warrant, but this is a singles reading. I don't know what this means. Um, maybe you're working away and somebody arrives and they have some sort of plan and they present you with a plan. I know we're talking about singles and we're talking about relationships. I think you're going to get thrown off. I think you're going to get thrown off and you may be, may be presented with some illegal issues. I don't know what it is. And I know we're talking about singles, but it has to do with paperwork or a contract and I feel like this, 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 whatever they're bringing to you is changing your circumstances. Okay, it's changing your circumstances. You're going to have to adapt to this change. Is there a new love coming into your life? No, I think you're going to be alone. Okay, uh, if you're single, I think you're still going to be single. Put it that way. I see somebody going through a spiritual awakening, and this awakening is happening because there is a big loss. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles is a huge loss. The Ten of Pentacles in reversed, and that when you experience a huge loss, you have to go through a period of introspection and reflection and healing. So this is going to be a time of discovering who you are amidst a huge loss that has occurred. And I do apologize. Okay? That's what this is. I think that the, whatever is happening is going to give you some sort of spiritual wake-up call that is basically going to, you know, force you into hermit mode. I think you're going to be going into hermit mode. And you're going to be adapting to a change that has happened that has happened because of karma and karma can go back to past lives okay there is some sort of karma here that is changing your circumstances and it may affect your home or somebody that lives with you okay and there is somebody that is making a decision and there is not one thing you can do about it this decision is out of your control okay that's what we have here is there new love coming in uh no, I see independence, okay? I see you being alone. I see you putting in effort to regain stability, regain structure in your life. Um, you're probably focusing more on your job. You're focusing more on yourself. I do not see anybody in this situation jumping into a relationship in February. I see it's all about you needing to come up with a new plan, going through a spiritual awakening. Good luck. Things will quiet down by the end of the month.